Welcome to Christine G XOXO for Makeup Monday. Uh, the text message. Whoa! Dude, that took a long time for me because it's so hot in here. I can't take it anymore. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Hey guys, so today it is Makeup Monday. Um, if you are new to my channel, I do Makeup Monday, whatever Wednesday, and First Impression or Fashion Friday. So yes, everybody, that means I upload three times a week now. And also, if you want to get to know me and my family, my husband, my dogs, um, you can check out my vlog channel. So all those links will be down below. Anyways, this makeup is something that is inspired by fall as well as um, it's an everyday makeup routine for fall. I guess that's what I'm calling it. But um, it's great for work, it's great for school, it's great for um, dinner, date night, whatever. What have you is a really great, um, at least that's how I've been wearing it anyway. It's my go-to makeup look. And pretty much everything I use in this video is from the drugstore. But there are a few like Sephora products in here. But anyways, if you are interested in seeing how to get this makeup look, guys, then just keep watching. So the first step I like to do is apply my BB cream. This is just like a lotion, so you want to apply this under your primer. So I'm using the Garnier BB cream in light to medium for combination to oily skin. I like to squirt a little bit. That oh, was a lot, but <laughs> on the back of my hand. And this stuff surprisingly has a lot of coverage, but I just take a dampened beauty blender, dab it in there, and press it or blot it onto my face. It makes a huge difference. I keep promising that I'm going to do a side-by-side -side of the original one and the combination oily skin one. But just blot it on. It adds a lot, gives me a lot of moisture as well as a lot of protection from the sun and a lot of coverage. Um, I can go out, which I do sometimes just put this on if I'm going to the grocery store or somewhere. Sometimes I don't even do this step, which I, sh I know I should protect people from all my acne, which it is getting better. The redness is going down, but yeah, you see how much it's covering up. I kind of look ridiculously ridiculous and ghostly because it does lighten my skin. It's not exactly the color of my skin. It's a little lighter. That's okay because we're going to apply foundation, and even if I wasn't, I could apply bronzer and stuff to add color back onto my skin. So I blot it in until it sets. Sorry, I had to turn off the fan. Sometimes I leave it on and it, I don't realize it makes a big humming noise in the background. But next, I will prime my eyelids. I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. Just a few little dots. I'll do one or two under here. It helps. I like doing it underneath. Um, not only because I put eyeshadow down there, but also to help my concealer. Under our concealer stay longer. And I've noticed a huge difference with my makeup. Longevity when I do this. So you can use any eye primer. The drugstore has some really good ones that I've heard of. Um, I just bought a Wet n Wild one not too long ago and I'm going to do a first impression on that one just to show y'all how it does. And See? So now that everything, my eyes are primed, I looked ridiculous. This is so funny. My lips. I'm going to go ahead and put some moisture on my lips. I'm using the Nivea Lip Butter in Macadamia, or Vanilla Macadamia. And this stuff stays by my sink, which is where I put all my makeup. So that is done. And now I'm going to, and also the key to making your makeup last a long time is letting it set completely. So that means like it's not tacky or wet feeling at all on your skin. Mine's still a little bit wet. So you can fan yourself. And don't hit your face. Okay, now I'm taking my e.l.f. Uh, Mineral Infused Face Primer. I'm still using this until I run out of it. And then I will try another product but I put it on center of my face oh there's a phone but then just smooth it out so that when I apply my foundation concealer in a second it will completely stay put so what we're going to do is let this set as well which does not take long at all it's set right there. Okay, now the primer's on. I'm going to move on to my foundation. I have been having some really dry patches on my skin from doing like little acne treatments here and there. So this is a really great foundation if you have dry skin. I really have combination. So I'm using different methods to help combat the oiliness, but also help with hair with 
dryness where it doesn't like build up on spots. So I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. And what color am I? I am in Nude Beige. It's a little bit dark for me, but that's okay. I'm going to do four pumps. Was that three or four? Oh, well. Do another one. And take the same beauty blender and apply this like I applied my BB cream all over my face. The thing with this foundation is that it does look really greasy on the skin when you first put it on, but once it sets, it's fine. Just set for a little bit and let it dry on your skin and... It doesn't take long, but it's really hot in the house right now. Oh my goodness, I look ridiculous. I'm looking in the viewfinder and I look ridiculous. But we're going to add a lot of color back to your face. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to move over to our under eyes. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair Claire. I'm just going to do it like so down the nose. Okay, right here. And this is just bringing light to my face. I don't want any shininess. I just want light to my face. So I'm going to blend out. I always start with this eye for some reason. I go up, in, down, and then up to my temple. In, down, up to my temple and just really blend it in. Same to the other eye. Okay, so now usually what I do, it's still really wet on my face. And what I like to do is just go to get, make my coffee or do something like that to let it set. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and made my coffee. Now I'm just going to go ahead and work on my eyes because it's still not setting because it's really hot in my house right now. But my eyes, I'm using both of my little e.l.f. palettes. I'm using one shadow from the Golden Goddess and all of them from Tantalizing Taupe. So what I like to do, open my Tantalizing Taupe one and start off by using the top shade. It says base on it, and I'll take a regular eye shading brush. This is... The Sigma E55 and I have a discount down below also if you want 10% off. Just drag it once across and pat it all over my lid. And then I work it kind of up into the brow bone. This down I'm going to take my Sigma E35 in the next shade. I just like to drag it through a couple times and then pat this into my crease. Just the outer part of my crease. I drag it all the way in. But then I'll wiggle it down just on the outer part of my lid. And I'm going to take the same brush into the crease brush. Do the same swipe across. I'm just going to work it on the outside part of my crease. And I've noticed when you build and build and build eyeshadows, it stays a lot longer. So now I'm going to take this pointy brush, um, Taper Pointy Blending Brush E45 from Sigma into the line. Drag it across like that and just like stab in the corner. Just keep stabbing it in the corner and then kind of work it in. Do a little V motion. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to dab it into the base a little bit and then blend the edges. Because it can build up and look really, really harsh. Alright, now to hop into the other palette. I'm coming back to that one in a second. But this little golden, yellowy, orangey color obsessed with. So I'm going to take that same flat shader uh, E55 brush brush Sigma and then go once across. Then dab it in the center and slowly fan it out. It's not really hugely noticeable but I feel like it makes such a huge difference in my eye look. And I absolutely love it. So there we go. Okay now I'm going to line my eyes. So what I like to line my eyes with lately has been this little pencil by Jordana. It's a 12 hour made to last liquid eye pencil and this is an espresso last. So I'm just gonna just roughly line my upper lash line. Don't, I'm not trying to be too careful. I just want the color there. It comes off really creamy and I really really love this formula. And so now I'm gonna take a pencil brush in the darkest color in the tantalizing taupe palette which is up here that i did the outer v in and my pencil brush this is the sigma e30 get it on there and then just like work it over the liner i just kind of want to smudge it out this is really easy and awesome technique where you don't have to be like a pro at getting the perfect straight line this is worked perfect for me because i'm not really good at applying uh, pencil liners so what I like to do is flick it a little bit in the corner and then bring whatever's left on the brush on the outer fourth of my lid or lower lash line. Yeah, 
Okay, now that that is all blended out and in there, I'm gonna take my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and just, it's really gonna help set that foundation and really lock everything into place and kinda, it slightly mattifies. It's not like, they have a doomy one that really like illuminates your face and we don't want that because we have enough illuminating going on right now. Okay, and while that is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my eyeliner. I've been loving like layering my eyeliners. Um, for the first uh, like August, I did my liner like that. And now I've been loving doing both these methods. So I'm just gonna take my L'Oreal Carbon Black Intense Handy Dandy Eyeliner and just stay really close to the lash line. This is just really going to add depthness to your eyes and creating a slight wing. And you see the difference it makes just by doing that one step. I think this could bring you in tonight, but also I really have been loving it for daytime for work. Okay, now that we're done with all of our eye stuff, I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye concealer. And I'm using the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Not only do I like to use this for my under eye concealer, I also like to do it all over my face. But first I take the Sigma uh, E50, just any smaller, larger, fluffy brush, and I just set my makeup underneath. Now that, that is down, I'm going to go ahead and do my whole face. So I'm just going to tap some more. Take this big old fluffy brush from um, Real Techniques. This is a big one. I'm just going to swirl it in there, knock off the excess, and go ahead and pat it onto my face and it really does mattify but keeps it a little bit of a glow still there all right now everything is set now I'm gonna do under my I forgot to do under my eye area again so I did the outside with the darker shadow but I'm taking the golden goddess one and like just a concealer brush this is the Sigma F70 and take that brownie, taupey, yellowy um, the middle to the inner part of my eye. I'm going to take a little bit more just to highlight the inner area like that. And see, it makes such a beautiful difference and I absolutely love doing this method. So some of you might be thinking, girl, you didn't set, like, uh, conceal all your blemishes. I've noticed that if I try to conceal them, then it starts to look like I'm putting layers of stuff on my face, which I really do not like. So, next up, I'm going to take my Lorac Tantalizer, and I'm going to, it's the, looks like this, the highlighter is worth crap, like literally it doesn't even, like you swirl your brush in it, tap it off, and there's like nothing on your brush, it's obnoxious. So I use half of this for blush and half of it for bronzer, so I'm just going to like do two dabs, and then just work it, I go down, and then I just like bring it up and like do like an all over tan color or bronzing effect I guess and I absolutely love this bronzer it is the perfect contour shade and it's a perfect bronzer I feel so I like to do a little bit here bring it down like so okay now that we're done with that product I'm going to move on to my favorite blush always my favorite blush is the elf candid coral flip it to the other side Really get it on the brush and then smile and work it on the apples of your cheeks. And I like to be very subtle just to um, show that I have a little bit of color on there, but it's not like, dude, she's wearing a lot of blush. I don't want that. So now my face and my eyes are completely done. Now I'm going to quickly just brush out my brows. I really don't have to fill them in at all. If anything, I do anything, I extend it a little bit. But now for my lips, what I've been loving to do, since I put this lip butter on already, my lips are still very hydrated. Um, if not, I'll go ahead and apply this or any lip balm and then apply my Jordana Twist and Shine Moisturizing Lip Balm in Cranberry Crush. And since you put the lip balm on, this is going to be very subtle. But I love the formula of this stuff. And it applies very creamy and beautiful. So my face is completely done. Now I'm going to go ahead and get dressed really quick. Do my hair and I'll be right back. Haha, -ha, just kidding. Okay, I went ahead and got dressed. I haven't done anything to my hair yet. But I'm going to apply my trusty mascara. So this is the new May, uh, Milani Total Last Cover Mascara with 3 Zone Brush. And I, in the haul video that I just did that I 
hold this. Um, I tried it out for you guys on camera and kind of talked about it for a little bit. So this is kind of a tricky mascara to like play with just because you got to like put it in the right spot to get the benefits of what the wand's supposed to do for you. But I'm just going to apply this all over my lashes. I've just been doing one coat, then I'll flip it over. Just It has like a taller little wand side that has spikes on it, and I'll just do the outer edge of my bottom lashes. Alright guys, so now the mascara is done. What I like to do with my hair, usually I'll just keep it in a bun, but who can't just throw their hair in a bun? Right, so what I like to do is put it where I would normally put my bun, and I'm going to show you how I've been doing my messy bun lately. So I like it kind of to be tight-ish, not perfect, but just tight. And I will fish my hair through just a little bit. When you're about to, when you're doing your last pull through for your ponytail, just pull it through a little bit like that. Then I like to take these, the back little part, and pull it a little bit. Then bring it around, tuck her in, bring it around the other way, and tuck it. And it creates this really loose top knot bun. And the way my hair is done, since I haven't had it like highlighted in a long time, it's like brown and like this blonde ball on top of my head. But that's how I've really been liking doing my hair lately. So, guys, um, I just have this little blazer on with the elbow patches, just a little bitty um, orange tank top. My necklace Garrett gave me, and this awesome watch. The watch and blazer is from Francesca's Neck is Red Envelope Necklace, a shirt, and that's a text message. Um, and my shirt. I don't know where I got my tank top from. I think I got it from JCPenney. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked my fall makeup routine. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Like, mismatched and everything. So, I just want to show you what I'm wearing. Something that's really easy to, like, move in and do my thing in. Get everything I need done now. And I'm sorry for the thunder outside. It is raining ridiculous here. So I've been rained on today too. So this is a good, I guess, rainy day outfit. But 